Hello, I am Richard Garfield, inventor of magic. Behold my magical cards. There are five colors of magic. Black magic is the magic of death. The often self-destructive lore of black magic is regarded by most as best left unknown. Blue magic is mental in nature. The forts of the blue magician are artifice, illusion, and deception, as well as the elemental forces of air and water. Many magicians have been lulled into complacency by green magic's peaceful exterior, the magic of life, and have been caught unaware by the vast destructive capability of its nature. Red magic is a destructive magic, the magic of earth and of fire, of chaos and of war. Holy white magic has spells of healing and protection. Though chivalrous, war magic is not unfamiliar. Okay, we're gonna play a game of magic. Each player has 20 life. The point of the game is to get the other guy down to zero. We're gonna cut each other's decks see what the bottom card is so we can determine who goes first. I've got uh, four on the bottom, he's got two, so mine's higher, I'll go first. My deck looks bigger because it's in these kind of sleeves. There are both 60 cards. We draw seven cards. You want about 30 to deck to be land because you just land a paper stuff. If you have all land, no land, you can redraw, shuffle and draw another hand. Is your hand okay? My hand's okay. My hand's okay. So I'm going to draw my one card for turn, I'm going to play a land, and I'm going to say go because you can't do anything. And he draws land, go. Okay. Let's play a land. Let's pay two. Black Knight. Can't attack because it's just come out. Go. Okay. I'm going to play land. And I'm going to play White Knight. You done? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I can't target his guy because he's pro black and he can't target my guy because he's pro white. I'm going to pay two. I'll put out another Black Knight. I'll attack you for two, and you can't block, because white creatures can't block this creature. So you take two, you're at 18. Go. I'm going to play land. I'm going to pay two. Play Crusade. Okay. Now all his creatures are bigger, so he's a 3-3 instead of... Pay one. Creatures. Play Holy Strength. Oh, he's got the power of God. He's holy. He's now a 4... 4-5. Four, 4-5. Uh, four, four, five. Four, I'll attack you for four. Oh, I'm at 16. You done? Yeah. This is bad. No! Cursed you! Cursed. Well, okay, you can't the holy. Oh. Terror! He has a heart attack because he's afraid. Oh. Attack you for five. Take five. I'm Go. At five. He's at five. No. No. Holy strength. No. Damn you! Four. Oh. Yes, plus four plus four. Oh, I die. I attack you and oh. you die. Behold the power of my cards over the nerd's mind. Hey, so why do you play magic? Because it's fun and addictive. How is it addictive? Because once you start playing, you just have to get better and better. You can't quit. Uh, how much money have you spent on magic? Don't ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't want to know. <laughs> so, uh, how'd you get into magic and why do you play it? One day, after playing some basketball, my friend invited me to go play over at his house some cards. And I was thinking, oh, great, great. Poker, blackjack, fine. And he showed me these magic cards. And for that night, we spent maybe three or four hours just trying to play this game. And after that moment, I knew I was hooked. All right. Why do you play magic? Why? You don't even know. Okay, it, 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 it's really fun. And it's another way I can use more than 25% of my brain. Behold the precious value of my magic cards. Some of these nerds would even trade their lives for my magic cards. Uh, 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 uh. And I actually know a lot of people who make a lot of money selling magic win. cards. Don't tell me you guys are going to kill me. I actually remember recently, <laughs> two weekends ago during President's Day weekend, somebody purchased a $500 card for $300. So for that five minutes of his time, he made $200. That's pretty darn good. And that happens all the time. Uh, I've done some weird trades. Like I've traded movie film from a movie theater I worked at that closed for magic cards. I've traded World War II Army stuff for magic cards, I'd like a shovel. 1945 shovel and a cover that I bought for 75 cents and I got like 40 50 dollars worth of magic cards out of it. Now you know about magic cards, so go buy more magic cards 
and make me more money. Ah, ah, ah.